I was just sitting here thinking about porn. <laughs> Probably porn, yeah. So, welcome, it's Ahoy Hoy even he's Straw. Thanks, Parker. And together we are the <laughs> Battle Hammer. Today we have a, a different thing to our normal fare of uh, gamings. There's a there's an unboxing. It's a big box. It's a big, huge box. What is it, Straw? It's a box. It's a big, huge box. Would you say it's a massive box? I'd say it's rather large. And I think with the box being closed, there's probably not a lot of light in there. So that would make it a bit dark. The dark box. So it's a massive, massive dark darkness. box. Massive darkness! Yay! What an amazing segue. So Straw kick-started All of my darkness. own. Because Parker um, never helps out. Because I'm a cunt. Uh, <laughs> so, he just got it this very morning. This very morning. And as you can, I mean, it's not even, it's not even open yet. It's Normally just, I have a peek. He hasn't even had a peeky peek. So we're going to unbox it for you right here. Right, right now, because there right is here. no other place I'd rather be. Pop down the pub. Cool. Okay, so. So we're going to get straight and stuck into it. Um, stuck if you don't know what ma Massive Darkness is, it's a... Game. So like a dungeon crawl. It's a cool mini game. From cool mini or not, in the style of um, Zombie Side. In the yeah, so it's Zombie Side. I mean, the art's the same. I don't know if it's the same creators. We'll find out once we get in, I guess. Um, so this is going to take me longer than I. Hey, and the box opens. So we'll start at the top. Do you want to show them inside the box? So What's some, in the box? What's in stuff. the box? Is it? Oh, you know what? I'm not... always disappointed because it's never going to pound those heads. Right, so just tip it. Oh. It's quite a weighty box. Holy shit! There's some shite in there. There's, a, there's some stuff. Yeah, I said I don't even remember. I don't remember what we ordered. So. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take stuff out. Yeah. I'm not gonna look at everything immediately, but we because we're gonna go straight to the main game first. I think. So there's like chests and pillars, which has got some chests and some pillars in it. Um, we've got troglodytes, which look like barbarian type of duties. We've got some cards of some kind. We've got noble warriors and the versus the cockatrix. Cock. We've got sorcerers versus Lord Touche or Tusk. It's Tusky. Tushy. We've got a Lightbringer pack, which by the look of its um, cardboard exterior is probably Kickstarter exclusive stuff. Yeah. All that kind of things. And we've got the main box game. So this is just, yeah, I didn't order any extra add-ons or anything because it was, that's a fucking big box. It's a big box, it's a heavy box. Um, because I just didn't have the cash. So you didn't get the elephant. No, I thing. fucking, shit. You didn't want the elephant. Although Stick's got it. So I'm going to yeah. zoom in now, Parakey, yep. into the zone that we've marked. Hi. And then, don't worry about me. Then, so there's the main box. I'm going to show you it better in a second. Oof, as I stood on um, the light. Uh, there it is. I like the art. The light. It's very much in the style of um, Wrath of Kings and Zombie Side. I say it's a big box, isn't it? Give it a feel. It's a weighty box. Oof. It's a weighty it's box. The, the weight of my ball sack. There's the back. Oof. Pretty sure they don't need to see the back in a bloody box. Well, you know. Pretty sure they just want to see what's in the box. It is not a children's toy. No. It is age 14 plus, a hobby gaming product. So you can't have it. Ages one, ages 14. Oh, up. that's it. We're not allowed to get the spider out. We mustn't tell Jane about the spider because she doesn't like spiders. Okay. So if she sees the spider, she will scream and cry and be so all girly One to six it. players. Which is a shame because there's only me and you now. We've got rid of all of our other players. We've been trying. Yeah. This one's going to make a real good farty noise. Oh. The box is nice. I love their boxes. I love the art. Ooh. <laughs> it didn't. It's not farting. There's no farts today. Well, that's a bloody big rule book for a start. What that the is fuck? a significantly larger rule book than you normally see from Zombie Side. I mean, it's not a zombie side. It's it's. But it's it's a dungeon romp. It's a dungeon it's romp a, I, in I the did, vein. It's a proper dungeon romp. Oh, squirm! I like dungeon romps. 
I like rocks. Oh, it smells good. Oh, oh, it. oh it smells good. It almost well, smells we'll like. We'll be back in a minute. Would you? It almost smells like original Hero Quest. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. I don't know where they got that scent from. So we've got a big old thick die cut, and usual, as usual with the cool mini stuff, it's a proper thick die cut thing. With oh, some you could have got all of on. those in, in plastic, I think. But I don't know what all of the tokens mean yet. So I'll just plop that down there. There's another one with chests. Looks like chests and pillars, which will be that chest and pillar thing. Yeah, because I bought the upgrade packs. I wanted the um, chests and pillars for shears. Uh, there's another box inside this box. And this box that's inside that box appears to have miniatures. So we'll get to them in just a moment. We've yeah, it's, some, it's very zombicide-ish. We've got some tiles. Um, let's go straight in. The tiles seem to be the same size as the... Um, ow. Ow. As the, uh, what do you call it? Zombie side, zombie side. 69 enemy miniatures. 69 dudes. dudes. So there's, oh. a, there's a dwarf defender, a dwarf boss, a dwarf minion, dwarf warrior boss, goblins, uh, orcs, goblins, dwarves, orcs, 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 orcs. a high troll, a giant spy, there you go, that's horrible, a hellhound, an ogre mage, an abyssal demon, and liliariarchy, whatever the freaking name is. So something to be in mind of when I'm showing you these game tiles is there are light squares and dark squares and apparently it's the thing in the game I don't it's, know what it means like it's called can, massive darkness you can sneak in the darkness but not in the light something like that don't and monsters I don't know if spawn, monsters spawn in the darkness, in darkness or something I don't know but they're nicely um, they come out really nice on the video camera actually um, oh that's cool some pe dead people and stuff who have been murdered by monsters and the best bit is I think one of those the card, I think it might be the cards it's the main bit that we wanted which is the um, oh the, the hero upgrades the, yeah so you can do hello I'm, oh, I'm in the dark you can't see me motherfucker um, like that I'll just move this out of the way we've got a, a a stack of cards or paper which look like your upgrade cards yeah they dudes. are they are your class sheets apparently 120 class sheets. Battle Wizard, Blood Moon, Night Runner, Nightshade Ranger, Paladin of Fury, Cock. Pit Fighter Berserker, and Shadow Barbarian. Mm. So, given that they've put them on paper, I would assume that you're supposed to fill these in as the game goes on. Oh. You go up from level 1 up to level 5, and there they are. Oh, interesting, this bar. Then we've got some custom dice, because who doesn't love custom dice? No, they're good because they're nice and deep. I like really? it deep. Yeah, you do. You've got the yellow dice, you've got blue dice, you've got green dice, you've got red dice. The, the red dice look stabby. The blue dice look slightly less stabby. Oh, no, yeah, I know, I think like it's red, green, blue. Oh, the green dice look shieldy. Oh, so red and yellow for attacky. Attacky. And then the blue and the green for defendy. Maybe. I think. Because they're shields and swords. A hundred mm. bad guys with swords. So he doesn't like swords. Hero right? cards. Plastic thingy, I like that. Got some. Oh, so it's a hero phase, an enemy phase, an experience phase, an event phase, an end of phase, winning or losing, job done. Basic rules, all characters are actors, yeah that's very similar to um, thingies. So a card will have the name of the minion, the value of it, blah blah blah. So here we've got some, um, looks like bad guy cards. No bad guy cards. We have bad guys on. All level two bad guy cards. Again, it's all very, very pretty. It looks easy to get your head around as well, which is good. More bad guy. All level three bad guy cards. You probably even, to level five. Even badder thought. guy cards. The worst guy cards. Level four! Super bad. And five, level five. No, Super dear. mega woo bad guy cards. Super mega woo? 
yeah, they're proper mm, mouth. It's very, nasty. very similar to Zombie Side ish. One thing that they have pointed out already is that some of the cards have got like print on them that you can't, you can just about see if you're looking. Um, but they know that that's an issue and they're going to send out replacements as soon as they're done. Apparently, it was a thing that was supposed to be unprinted on white and it was printed on black. There was a miscommunication. Oh, and there's a lesser roaming monster. Ooh. And there'll be a big beasties. And then greater roaming monsters. And then we've got. Uh, looks like special, special dudes for the um, hero cards. I don't know why there are separate special cards for them, but there are. Recommended class. So you could pick Owen. Uh, attack when you're fighting. Attack dice is the yellow and red. Yeah. And the defender takes the blue and the green. So that's those cards. There are item cards with a plethora of treasure cards. A whole fat stack of them. Lots of treasures. Level one, level two, starting equipment, and I don't I mean obviously we don't know how to play stuff, but the art's very nice, very nicely produced, very clear to see like hand, that takes two hands, that takes one hand, melee weapon, shields and daggers. Oh light bringer, special start thing, at the start of the round stuff happens. Chainmail, different kinds of oh a guillotine potion. Oh, because Guillotine's the name of the company. Shit for brains. Your brain is shit. Alright, we don't want to see the cards. We want to see the good Do you want to go straight into the mini here, yours? Do you want to go straight onto them, do you? Into them. Into them, up to them. Up them. Right, back down again then. Okay, so... So this is the one that comes in the main game? Yeah, this is the main... Go on, tug it. Tug it. Yeah. Give it to Tug. Oh, oh my good lord. Oh wow. Okay. Holy mc poop stains. There's a fair few miniatures in there. You can have that one. Oh, that's horrible. Hey, he's a giant spider. Oh, Janie is not going to like that. Oh. Show them a giant scary Oh, spider. that really is not. Very pleasant. Oh, it's got it's got bits under bits it. Bits under it. Oh, it's like a rock or something. It's just that's the hell beastie. Oh my god, they're beautiful. It's like a she's got to get used for something. Gorgon type lady. Hey. Yeah, she's awesome. That is a beautiful model. I love that one. It's a Slaneshi demon-y thing waiting so to happen, isn't it? Let's see if I can show you these things without dropping them all over the floor. I'll go to the other side I'll of tell you, if the, um, if the Rising Sun miniature is anything like this... I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these focuses. So you've got like an orky dude, a goblin dude and a dwarf dude who are bad. Very nice sculpts. The detail's really nice. The detail is incredible on these miniatures. Um, and it's similar kind of plastic to what they normally use. The heroes don't look as big as um, their zombie side. Well, maybe they are. That's an awesome model. She'd mess your day up, wouldn't she? Yeah, and I'd let her. Again, the good old um. Uh, well, have you. The good old plastic uh, things. Plastic things. Yeah, I like plastic thingies. The for your cards. Oh yeah, that they started in Black Plague. Yeah. May I have one to show you? Proud. So here you go. We don't exactly know how these work, but. Obviously weapons for your hands, your torso armour oh, area, micro experience. your character card, and then there's your little experience that then becomes proper experience. So for every five you get a thing and then you get more of those and then this your hit points I guess. Health points, yeah, it's gotta be health on the side, isn't it? But 
we found out these in um, Zombicide Black Plague, which are, I mean, Zombicide Black Plague is basically the same rules as Zombicide's proper, if you like. But the, um, having those plastic things to keep your cards tidy is really, really nice. Now, so that goes That on went there. underneath. Oh, oh no. That, that was on top. That was on top. So that, so that then go there and then that went go. there. No, turn no. that, turn the top one. No, it must have been underneath it. Bottom. Oh, difficult! Yeah, there. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then that one goes on top. I think that one is. Oh, it's that way. It's that way. Go team us. Go team us and our faces. So, yeah, the figures are awesome. Those orcs really do look fucking mean, don't they? Die. Fishy look fucking high. So. So then that's obviously all of the Kickstarter exclusive. Um, yeah. Oh, that's painful. A quest, quest of crystal, crystal and lava. lava. So, Must different extra scenarios. Looks like new. Uh, New, what do you call them? Tiles? Tiles, yeah, it looks like it. No, there were any! Oh, oh, there are. There are! Well, that's a... There's a thing of miniatures, there's another thing of miniatures. And there we have some tiles. Ooh, and a bag! Oh, we like bags! Got a bag! Got a bag to get your dice in. This has massive cock on it. There are... There's some bone crusher, which I, it looks like a new hero thing. And there are some cards, which has got Bone Crusher's Pauldron, which is like an item, artifacty thing, and some more bad guy cards. The front, which is Chromatis, <coughs> is a um, rainbow unicorn. A what? A rainbow unicorn. Oh god, no. Hells to the motherfucking yeah. No, that's just silly. You like rainbows, you like unicorns, you'll love a rainbow unicorn. Sounds like some weird sex game. Oh, holy shit, the bed. That's I won't, but a thanks. really big model in there. Is it? Yeah. Good. So these are more tiles for this other quest. Yes, quest for ships. Ships, I was about to say that. Um, so you can see from the other ones that are kind of, they're not monochrome, but they're definitely very focused on light and dark. Well, there needs to be, because that's part and of And then this is shears. kind of orange, and so you've got your orange for your lava. And then you've got your weird kind of. But you still got the dark bits for, for the shadows. Yeah, um, and so that will be like lava and light. And ooh, again, I love the art on these. I like the shiny turquoise crystal. Turquoise. Yeah. Turquoise. Cool. Turquoise. It means blue. It's like a aquamarine kind of. Aquamarina. See, we know how to do a bloody thing, don't we? No, not really. no, we don't. Right, so let's have a little look-see at these boxes. So you can have that one. Oh, oh it's not just a bag, it's all... I mean, ooh, not engraved, what's the word? Um, embroidered. Embroidered. So, I have no idea what's in <coughs> these boxes. Oh, my good lord. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hey! No, there's a unicorn, that's just so round. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh! Just gorgeous. Just... Shit in my mouth. So in the bottom of this one, there are a more, bunch more of the They're the ones, alternate sculpts for the, for the dwarves and goblins yeah. and shit like that. Oh wow, they're big. Fuck my dun dun dun. And that's a oh that's a cyclopsy chappy with a very big rock on. A rock, right, on. Yeah, a big rock on. I'll tell you what, Parky, when I get angry and throw that at you. That's gonna. That's gonna fucking hurt. That's beautiful. Oh, I want to paint all of these. They're lovely. So what's in that one? Um, oh, a couple of things. Special There's a two-headed ogre dude who looks cool. He's got a big thing on his, on his thing. Something? Yeah. There's like a like a robo. Robo like a man. Cyber, cyber robot. And oh, obviously God. we've got the unicorn. Ah. And some other just big. Monstery thing. Oh, so that's like a weird berry type. So let's get round here. Show you. So a couple of highlights are 
kind of like a steam jack punky you know thing night robot dude robot. with a big hammer which is or whatever it is called and then you've got the two-headed ogre guy looks like he's got a battering ram on his back these are really nice miniatures they are lovely the details fantastic oh what the Not hell is that flash. oh i don't know but i like it it's like a shoggy it's a gribbly and then we've got chrono meister or whatever his name was it's a unicorn. It's actually really pretty. I think it's a lovely um, flow of the tail, for oh example. Oh my god, you can see extra limbs trying to come out of the... Oh, lovely. Yeah, he's like a gribbly shoggoth type. Well, what the Squidgly. freaking hell is that? Oh, that's cool. That? I like that. So there you go. Isn't That's nice. Lots of pseudopods. And there's like a big... Thing. Alien... Looks like a almost like a great old one type vibe, doesn't it? Very Lovecraftian. Yeah. The big eyeball thing on the top of its head and eyeballs it over everywhere. Balls. Like a beholder almost yeah. or something like that. It's kind of the vibe I was getting off of it. That's bad be a good I mean even if you weren't gonna use these for this, it'd be a great centerpiece for an army or something like that. Yeah. Or a bad guy to fight in a D and D or something. Yeah. Wow, they are just And there's the massive just for frame of reference there's a standard miniature size which is a hero because it's brown and there's the <laughs> and that's the big gigantor that's ridiculous look at the musculature they are beautiful miniatures aren't they you know what i really like um is a lot of times i mean i assume these are um Multi computer assisted design oh, yeah yeah but a lot of the time computer assisted design can can look a bit a bit soft, a bit, a bit flat, a bit flat, a bit kind of like just too curvy, too curvy. Whereas this feels really gnarly, and it feels very much like, you know, they feel like old school real miniatures that yeah. are just done really well. Christ, that's that puts the giants in um. Warhammer. No, in Blood Rage. Oh, in Blood Rage. It's a shame. It makes them look like little tiny babies. Yeah. Um, and here we've even got a big hero dude who looks probably like he was a bad guy once. Probably still is a bad guy once. Wow. Those are oh, just ridiculous, aren't they? That's not going to focus. Oh, it is going to focus. Hey, look at that. Hey. Wow. Let's show me the show. I want to show him the other thing again. Now I know I can get this close with it. Oh, look at it. That's hideous. <laughs> I'd love to see that painted up all gribbly and unpleasant with all the postulations nah. and the pseudopods you know I'm you know if I ever I know you don't need to run it do you because it's all it, it just, it's just runs itself yeah that's the beauty of games these days is they all manage to run themselves so that's the Kickstarter exclusive box. Yeah. With all of your shizzy, shizzle shizzies. in there. So you've got lots of big monsters. Looks like three extra heroes and enough big monsters to keep you going for quite some and a whole time. Uh -huh. and a whole bunch of little ones as well. Yeah, the alternate sculpts. They're, they're, they're very chaos dwarfy. They're, they're the way chaos dwarfs should have been done, if you ask me. Um, oh. And then we've got. And that went with that, and that was one box. Good lord, this gets this just gets crazier. So here, in the rear, what was on top of this one, Poggy? Was it that one that way? Yeah, that way. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it was a werewolfy guy. Ooh. And now we've got the troglodytes. So this is another. So this is another set of like generic enemies, like goblins. Oh, noisy. So noisy. they look like underground cavemen, barbarian oh. types. Yeah. So this mm, one. Look at the dazzling shine. Woo! <laughs> oh my good god! Yeah, the Minotaur looks pretty fucking bonkers. So it contains two additional mobs. Boss and minions, an agent, and a roaming monster along the cards. Cards. I'm trying to get this fucking thing open. So, mob. 
shadow mode. Ooh, and stuff. So I'll show them a couple of these guys. So these are. As far as troglodyte, troglodytes go, these seem to be your... These look more like, yeah, you're right, you're right, they're not what I would class as troglodytes. They're like cavemen. Kind of like cave barbarians. Cave, yeah, cave barbarians. I have noticed that this guy's sword, this guy here, is very reminiscent of the swords in um, Wrath of Kings that the Technus use. It's definitely got that kind of vibe yeah. to him. Do with axe and shield. Rawr. Hopefully when it, yeah, you can see how much detail there is on them, given that's a, kind of a 28mm scale model. So he must be the a wandering monster then? Must be. Fucking hell, you wouldn't be on the receiving end of him, would you? No. He's a big minotaur. I like that he's got a proper cow face. Because mm. a lot of times you see minotaurs and they're a bit, Not they don't look face. very, like, you know, they don't cow look way. cow related. He's got a proper cow face. Looks a bit sad. <laughs> That's because he probably hasn't been milked in a while. He has only got one eye by the look of it. Oh no, they're just little squinty eyes. But no, I like that. I like him. He'd be a good, uh, not necessarily a wandering monster, but like a good M. A good, if you had a, I don't know, not D&D &D specifically, but like a character where you played a great big great minotaur. minotaur, he'd be wicked cool. Musculature! Yeah, I think there's a sweet spot, isn't there, when you're viewing and it's yeah, close well, up and you need yeah. it to be, yeah. So all these just bods, are they? Yeah, they're just bods. They're body, Boddingtons. Bodosauruses. Bodosaurus Rex. Oh, nice. No. You haven't seen what's in it yet? I just don't care. I feel sick and sweet. So, we've got Noble Warriors and the Cockatrix. Oh, dear. The cock? Is there a cock in it? Is so it in your bum? A new, there's a noble warrior. There's oh. a new kind of hero. Hero. Some other stuff. And but most importantly, the most important thing in here. Oh, I can't get into it. Fucking box. Fucking box. They do pack them well, don't they? Yeah, too well, if you ask me. So there's a hero. There's a couple of heroes who look quite poncy, and there's a cockatrice <laughs> that looks quite rrr, cool. But the most important thing is, a hey, lady dwarf. We've got a lady dwarf. Closer, so there, there we yeah, go. A lady dwarf. Yeah. Yeah, she's really cool. I like her helmet. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, really? That's cool. Let's have a look. And there's the cockatrice, which you, again you could use in any kind of game. Oh, well, I like it from the front. It looks really good from the front. Yeah, like leaning, at, coming at you, coming at you, like clear. Well, it looks. I don't know. I mean, obviously, we know that dinosaurs are related to birds, um, and it does have that kind of cross between a chicken and a raptor from Jurassic Park. Ah! Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Are there cards in here? Oh, they were. Yeah. And then we've got, finally, well, not quite finally, there's another box, which is the Sorcerers and the Lord Tusk, which seems to come with sorcerers and someone called Lord Tusk. So exactly the same sort of setup. As the previous one, you've got a character sheet for your sorcerer. You've got some cards with sorcerer things and the bad, the new Lord Tusk bad guy. I like that. These miniatures may also be used in any fantasy or role-playing game. No shit, Sherlock. I don't think we need to be told that. Oh, no. We're already deciding what other games we can use them in. And then we've got an evil-looking necromancer type. That is one. Big old oh. sword. There we go. <laughs> I've got a silly hat on. Magical hat. Fuck you, He-Man. 
That's a big sword. And this looks like Lord, Lord Tusk. That is Tusk. Dun, 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 dun. And he's got a big old pair of, like, I mean, I don't even know how he drags them around. Quite yeah, that, is a, that sword is bigger than he is. And how does he see when he's got that hood over his face, eh? Silly man. Doesn't need to, because everyone's terrified of Lord Tusk. It's a big guy. Hmm. And then there's a few decks of cards. That should be the important stuff. And this is so that you can use your heroes from this game in Zombicide Black Plague. Yes! The heroes in Zombicide, Zombicide Black Plague in this game. And in the middle you've got monster cards for the monsters in Black Plague in this game. Oh, so awesome. you can fully cross over and use everything with everything. Which I think is a really good idea. That's not. So you could do like a, no. a undead dungeon bash type thing. Yes. But more importantly... Hello! <laughs> I'm means, hiding in the darkness! That means that fucking wizard is going to be back, being yeah, a general is. pain in the arse. Dum, um, and this dum, is dum, 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 the super special box. Of shiz. Which has got some chests and some pillows in it. And I'm not even gonna... there's some chests. Oh, there's so you can use the chests. characters from the in Zombie Side. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, he starts with Dragon Ball. No, he doesn't. Hold Dragon Ball there instead. Yeah, I like those. I just prefer for, for pillars and chests. I like to be able to see yeah, them because nice they're dimensionality. So there you go. There you go. There's so we will be playing this soon. Yeah. I guess in the next kind of couple of weeks, probably get some games up. On this. I reckon we will probably. Sooner we get her up, get her up the better. Yeah, maybe. that's what she said. Uh, probably, let's see, we've got something special to do Monday. Mm. It depends how many days we film next week. Because we're not going to be out from Friday because we're out. So we might have to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we will definitely try to film this ASAP. Yes. We will film next week. That's what we're going to have to do. Yeah. Simple as that. So just for you, you get to see Massive Darkness we'll played. I mean, let's assume that we're going to do the base box to begin with, and we're not base, going to do anything base, super base, fancy. Base, buttery biscuit base. Apart from maybe squeezing Aldrich in there. No. Dipping him in. No. Just gently, just gently drop him. Um, if you can't see at home, but I'm doing like a tea bag motion oh, with my crotch. Oh, just do Because I'm dipping him in. But there you go. That if you was like just things the... that are large, and you like darkness. You'll believe in a thing called love. It's just <laughs> into the rhythm of my heart. But yeah. So don't forget to like, like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. If you don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe. But we would like it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time... Stay, stay away in. from the darkness. <laughs> oh, that's not a couple of weeks, is it? <laughs> I'm doing... These are all monster noises. I mean, that one probably sounds like a... <laughs> and that's like a... <laughs> It's okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.